In this week's episode of Star Wars Leaks News and Reviews, we check out some new Black Series, we have a look at some vintage collection, a few little minifigs, and a massive comment that appeared on one of my videos. Coming up. Hello and welcome to Usual Mike Television Toy Showcase channel. Today, lots to talk about. Also, I'm going to start the day off by showing you a couple of Force Link figures which have taken me such a long time to acquire. I had to get my brother involved in getting these for me. These are the ones I didn't have from the original Last Jedi. This is Obi-Wan Kenobi. If you remember, there was a wave and then they split and put uh, like a second half wave, which is wave one, which is Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda. So they're the two figures I'd be missing. Let's see if we can get in there nice and nice and close. Very cool, Obi-Wan Kenobi, blue lightsaber, very good sculpt on this. This is this is a very well sought after figure. This is quality 3.75 inch figures. The Yoda, as we know, spoiler alert, he appears in The Last Jedi. The puppet they used for that was uh, apparently uh, Return of the Jedi, I think that Yoda they used. I have the one where there's a variation. This one here, he's holding the lightsaber, there's another one with a lightsaber. It's very similar to this, where it's beside him in the box. They're the two figures. Once I get the entire set of Last Jedi figures, I'll do a whole uh, complete collection like I did for the Rogue One video. I'll leave a link to the Rogue One video there. Excellent. That's the first part of what I want to talk about today. Put them behind with my two rays. Fantastic. So, new images. This week, well, it's been two weeks since you've seen me. Uh, last week was my collecting nightmare video, but this week I want to show you some images that came out in that time of the Red A-Wing from uh, Robot Kingdom online. They put some new images up. It is exactly like the Force Link one with Tali, except they have chose to use a uh, generic pilot, which is a bit disappointing because it's like, oh, Tali's a character, and then you get... Generic Joe. You could have even, you could have given him a name. Doesn't matter. But great to see those images. Something different coming. Uh, Gentle Giant. They make uh, a lot of those very high-end busts that are about yay high. But this sucker here, this Boba Fett, is 12 inches. I've seen these at conventions. I've seen the Luke and the Leia and the Chewie and all that in that size. And the Boba Fett one, that is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Can be available at some other conventions, and it's going to be on the toy. Uh, the Hasbro Toy Store as well, if you can get your hands on it, good for you. It's not for me, Those, that size is a little bit bulky for my collection. Just a little bit. If you like that, go and grab yourself one of those, if you can. Oh yes, exciting, exciting San Diego Comic Con news. They have a three pack, which is in a really old retro style packaging. It is Dr. Afra, the BT, or BT-1, and triple zero which is a protocol droid and a regular droid. The Dr. Afra will be available separately at some stage, which will be on the vintage collection, but these three in the pack together looks fantastic. I love that old school packaging. Not that any of these mean much to me because I guess a lot of them are, what would you say, extended legends, Marvel stuff, you know, it's, it's, it's expanded universe. But it is good to see them in that style of packaging. That looks cool. Next, I have images from five of the vintage collections that are upcoming. There is a picture of Han, Dr. Afra, what we just talked about, the Range Trooper, and then you have the Mimban Trooper, which will be an exclusive to Walmart, which is impossible to find in Australia, and an exclusive Ray one, which we've talked about before. There's the image of that. Those ones are not going to be cheap for international collectors. When Hasbro does this, they only do it for the US market and forget about everybody else. If we want them, we have to pay through the nose for them. Literally, sometimes up to hundreds of dollars for them. You know, Aussies here have bought that X-Wing Luke from the 40th anniversary collection, you know, you know, upwards of four, five hundred dollars just to get the privilege of owning one of them. Uh, the images I don't have yet for that Vintage Collection Wave 2 line that's coming in around about August. I don't have an Emphis Nest. Emphis Nest is one that will be much sought after. That will be an awesome Vintage card to figure. There's also a Death Trooper. I haven't got the image for that one yet. And a Rogue One Hover Tank. 
but I do have an image for that one because of the old school image I had with the tank from New York Comic Con so you've seen that image before but I haven't seen a nice high res or a carded figure image of it yet or no carded images for Wave 2 yet of the vintage collection stay tuned that will be on this channel soon so in the black series the 6 inch General of Years he is on his way now. He has a removable outfit. He's the A at, at Commander. He's got the armor that takes off. I think he can remove the helmet. But sadly, for International, it is Walgreens exclusive. We don't have Walgreens in my country. I don't even think you have them anywhere but the US. How are we supposed to get our hands on this figure? Hmm? Thanks again, Hasbro. Another exclusive. There has been a UPC. Uh, found by Yakface online of a Leia Bespin figure. There's no image of the figure, but it is most certainly the rumor is that is the figure. It is on its way. That's going to be amazing. Also, we have uh, Lego minifigures. I have seen online there is the Dryden Gangster, which is a minifigure. You can see. Looks very Planet of the Apps like. There is also the Muddy Han Solo. Apparently there's no Muddy Chewy to go with him. There will possibly be, but not as of yet. And I also have an image from the Lego in a giant Porg. Much like the life-size Porg that appears as a Funko 10-inch character. This one here, probably about 6 to 7 inches tall. A little Porg made of Lego. fantastic also I had a video that I put up and I'll put the link up here from it was the solo a Star Wars story action figure rant collecting nightmare and I just voiced my opinion about how it is to collect through the selection what's available and left on that video I invite you to go and check that out one of my subscribers who subscribes to this channel Mike T left a huge comment on there about his frustration living in the UK and trying to collect what he would like to collect. The points he makes is he has no more Toys R Us in the UK to collect the toys anymore. It limits his availability to get things, you know. He has to rely on online stores now to collect. But then the online stores don't carry it. And then he has to go international online stores. And when you do that, the postage is huge. There's custom taxes involved. Um, the markups on them are huge. In, in the US, something that you might think, oh, look how easy it is to get this. In other countries, we're like, how can you have so many of them and we have none on the shelf? We, we see toy hunt videos where you guys roam around in the US and go and look at all the Star Wars toys, look at all the Star Wars toys. Come over here, you're looking at empty pegs. It's that difficult. It's that frustrating. Um, he said a lot of things like uh, going to the stores in the UK and Australia as well, we can walk in there and go, look, Force Awakens on the shelf. Look, there's Rogue One on the shelf. Look, heaps of Last Jedi on the shelf. No Solo. Solo don't exist. It's just like, does anyone know the movie's out? Does anyone know the merch is out? Not according to the toy retailers. So Mike has a huge rant. I want you to go and click on that video and have a read of what his thoughts are. Comment on it if you if you might. It's It's really trying for some collectors to be able to say I want to collect this when you know it's just damn near impossible you know people want to collect you know 10 kilo gold nuggets you just can't do that it's <laughs> it's out of your budget and it's in the realm of impossibility it's kind of like the same thing we want this little piece of plastic it's nothing special but yeah it comes off as impossible to find Last but not least, I want you to check out all my pictures from Instagram over the last couple of weeks. I've had a few bargains around. Yes, a lot of Rogue One, 12 inch Rogue Ones. Lots of cool things there. Check them all out. And that'll do it today. My name's Usual Mike. You can follow me on Twitter at Usual Mike. 30 or on Instagram we can check out all those awesome images as well for yourself at usual Mike television subscribe for more awesome videos tap that little bell for notifications slap a like on this video if you've enjoyed it share it with your friends and thank you for watching I will see all you guys next time all the best